welcome back to my channel. So if you want to know how I got this New Year's makeup tutorial and this little hair, then just keep on watching. And also I just want to say that my computer does not let me reply to your comments for some reason. So I'm having a lot of trouble with that. So I don't want anybody to think I'm ignoring them when they comment. I just, I can only like, like it and it won't let me reply. So I'm going to try to get that fixed so I can reply to everybody that's commenting. Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. So in this video, give me a second. In this video, I'm going to be doing a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial look. I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible, but I, I want it to be glam, but I also want it to be wearable for the everyday girl going out on New Year's who wants to look festive, but also doesn't want to line their eyeballs with glitter. And I also want it to be a very dewy look because I'm just feeling a very dewy look. So if that's not what you're into, then you can just kind of skip the steps that I used to make it a dewy look and go for a matte look, whichever one you want. Start out with my foundation, whatever your normal foundation is, and I'm just using the Eyelash Stay Fabulous in Buff Beige and then the Milani Conceal and Perfect in 01, and I just do a pump of each and I mix those together. Actually, I think I might be even paler than this now. Yay for winter. Yeah, actually, I think I am. I think it's time for uh, a new foundation. <laughs> Woohoo! So now before we use the rest of the foundation, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Maracuja Oil. Just a little bit, just a couple of drops, and that is going to give us a very dewy look. I'm going to be mixing it in with the foundation so that I'm not applying it directly onto my skin. It's not going to look like I'm greased up. It's just going to make the foundation appear to be a little bit more oily. Okay, so now for concealer, I'm just going to be using the Rimmel Match Perfection in Fair. I'm almost out of this stuff. I need to get me some more. But I'm just going to pump it out to where it looks something like that. And I'm heavily going to, or I guess I'm going to heavily coat it um, underneath my eyes. This is just going to brighten it up, add a little bit more coverage, make you look more awake, and just kind of make your face look a little bit more dimensional. I'm also going to take a strip right in the center of my nose, just like that. A little bit on my chin. And then I'm just going to take that beauty blender and blend it out. And now for powder, I'm not going to set my whole face. I'm just going to take a translucent powder, any one that you've got. I'm using the Laura Mercier one because it's... I can use a light hand with it and it's not going to overpower. So I'm just going to pick up just a little bit and run it only underneath my eyes. Because I want the rest of my face to remain dewy. So if I just place it over my eyes, it'll be a nice base for my eyeshadow. And then placing it underneath my eyes will keep it from getting greasy and having my eyeshadow like transfer down onto my face. <laughs> Okay, now it's time for contouring. Contouring is not absolutely necessary, but if you just want a more defined face and if you want to look super glam, you need to contour. So I'm going to use the Profusion Contour Palette. You can get it at Walgreens, or at least that's where I got mine. I'm not sure if they still have it. I'm going to pick up the shade Honey today. It's this, the lighter contour shade in this palette. And I'm just going to strictly start working it where I would typically contour. So you can see the structure and like kind of dimension that it adds to your face. Whereas this side looks a little bit more round. You don't know where it starts and where it ends. This side looks like it's got a little bit of definition to it. I've had some kind of rash that I've like randomly broke out with on this side of my face. Like right here and on this side. So if you see that texture, that's what it is. And like for some reason my makeup isn't sticking to it. So I don't know. I don't know what's happened if I'm... I'm not really... I don't think I'm allergic to anything. So I don't know... What this is from and for blush i'm actually going to be using the wet n wild ticket to brazil bronzer I'm start applying that to my cheeks and now for my most favorite part of this i'm just gonna be using the hard candy fast and fabulous makeup setting spray and on my little zoeva number 105 lux highlight brush i'm just gonna spritz that on there get that a little wet and I'm going to be using the Revolution Shimmer Brick in Rose Gold. And I'm going to pick up that very first shade right here. And I'm going to use that to highlight with. And oh my gosh, I have been obsessed with just this one shade. Like, 
it has the most beautiful gold reflect to it and it just looks so festive. As you can see, it's kind of intense, but we can buff that out and blend it out. But I just think it's got the most beautiful sheen to it. It's just gorgeous. And I'm also gonna apply this up on my forehead where the lot would hit, where we highlighted on my chin, Cuba's bow. And on that same brush that we contoured with, just dust off the excess powder, pick it up, and we're gonna apply just a little bit to our nose and down the center of our nose. And then I like to buff that out with a beauty blender. So it's not so intense, it kinda looks like it's just coming from your nose. <laughs> okay, and now for brows, I'm gonna be using the Benefit Cut Brow in the shade three and just this little angled brush, I think it's by Crown C413 brush. It's just got a little spoolie on the end and any kind of angled brush to fill in your brows. And I'm gonna fill in the outer tail of my eyebrow first because that's where the missing hairs are on my eye, in my eyebrows, just like this, to where it looks like that. And then I'm gonna go underneath Define that line just a little bit more, just like that. <laughs> and then I'm gonna run it down to the front where I want it to end. Fill in this area just a little bit so it blends in with the tail. And then what I do is I take the spoolie sod and I just start feathering this up through the front of the brow because I don't like it to be super, super harsh right there because my eyebrows are uneven. Now onto the eyes, I'm gonna be using the Revolution Mermaid Forever Palette. And let me show you what I'm gonna be using. On any kind of fluffy brush that you've got, I'm gonna be picking up this shade right here, dusting off that excess and placing it in the outer portion of my crease, just over here. And then very, very lightly, I'm mean, picking up this darker shade here on that same brush. You can use it on a more dense brush if you want it to be a little bit more darker, more vibrant, but I just want a softer look. So I'm gonna be taking this and placing it just, just in the outer corner right here, like just right there. And just right there, it's gonna add a lot of dimension and it's gonna kind of seal off the eye shape. And now with a flat synthetic brush or any kind of brush, whatever you've got that you can make it work, we are gonna take the setting spray that we used earlier, spritz the brush with it, get it a little bit wet. And we are gonna be picking up this shade right here in the palette and placing it all over our eye. So we're gonna start right here. We're gonna go all the way up because I have a little bit of hooded eyes, so I have to fake a crease. If you don't wet your brush, this shadow will appear a little bit chunky on your eyelids, so that's why I'm wetting it to where it creates more of like a smoother, vibrant effect. And I'm just gonna take this angled brush by Zoeva. It's the number 322 Brow Line Brush. And I'm just gonna be picking up that same shade that we used in the beginning. And running it on my lower lash line, just on the outer portion of it. And now it's time for some eyeliner. I'm using the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper, and I'm just gonna give myself a nice wing. You cannot do a wing, you can just leave it like this, and it just looks so festive, but I am gonna go in with wing, cause I like it. And now for lashes, I'm just gonna be using the CoverGirl Lash Blast Length, and I'm just gonna be coating my upper lashes just a little bit because we're going to falsies, but I also am gonna apply a generous coat to my bottom lashes as well. Okay, so for lashes, I'm gonna be using the little doll lashes by Salon Perfect. I'm not sure the number of them, but you can get them at Walmart and I'm gonna use the Salon Perfect glue as well. Okay, I'm just 
gonna go ahead and finish off my eyes. This is a optional step. You don't have to do this, but the same highlighting shade that we used earlier from the Revolution Shimmer Brick. Um, I'm just gonna be picking it up and I am going to run it underneath my brows. And I'm also gonna pop it on my inner corner. Okay, and for lips, I'm gonna keep them nude and I just had a tragedy happen. I cannot find my nude lipstick that I was wanting to wear. So I'm just gonna go in with ColourPop Platform and I'm gonna to top it with something so it looks a little bit more of kind of what I was going for. Now I'm taking the L'Oreal Color Rich in Mer Merino Mauve. And it's more of like a pinky tone, but I'm gonna go over it. Really wanted something more along a, like a nude kind of glossy look, but this is just gonna have to do. And then I'm just gonna take the setting spray that we've been using and spritz my whole face with it. Now we look pretty dewy. We look glossy and ready to kiss the one special, so. Now on to the hair. All right, so for this hair look, it's gonna be pretty simple. Um, I did a hair mask on my hair yesterday, so it's a little bit kind of oily, not greasy, um, but I'm gonna curl it and make it look pretty. So I'm gonna brush my hair out, and you can see it kind of looks a little bit oily at my roots. So what I'm gonna do, I've grabbed just a little bit of baby powder. This is a great option for blondes if you don't have access to dry shampoo. And so I'm just gonna put just a little bit, not too much, just enough to soak up some of the oils and give it a little bit more volume as well. Okay, so for the way I'm gonna curl my hair, I'm gonna be using a straightener, but you can definitely use just like the long barrel ones. The one I've got doesn't really work very well and it takes so long to heat up and curl with it. So I'm just gonna be using a straightener. Now, if you want your bottom hair to have a lot of volume and curl all the way up to the root, you need to leave the hair out of this ponytail that I'm gonna do. So before I start curling or doing anything, I'm just gonna be teasing my roots and that will help when I actually have a curl. I'm not gonna go in there and like mess the curl up or anything. So I'm just gonna go up in here and tease just a little bit come down here because i want a lot of volume okay and once you've got some volume you're just going to flip your hair over and literally you're going to take your brush kind of comb through this area and put a ponytail, and put a ponytail smack dab on top of your head. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Kenra Hot Spray. You don't have to use this, but it's just gonna protect your hair and also give it a little bit more of a hold. So I'm just gonna spritz it all over and brush that out. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna just take little pieces, separate them. It doesn't matter where they're at. You're not even gonna know where they fall on your head. And you're gonna take it and curl it. Hope you can see how I'm doing this. And I'm actually gonna leave the bottom little strand out. I don't want them to be too tight, but I want them to still have enough heat to where they last. So this is perfect. I want this to look a little bit kind of kinky and not really made together well. I'm not trying to do these luscious voluminous curls. I just want them to kind of be messy. And you can alternate which way you flip it. So instead of flipping it this way, put it in, flip it this way and that kind of thing. And what I do, if you don't know how to, sorry, I know my hair's on my face. If you don't know how to curl your hair with a straightener, all you do is you place it on your hair, you flip it, and then you run it through just like this. Leave that little bitty piece out for the rest of the hair that I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to roll it up, fill it till it gets pretty warm, and then slide it out where it looks like about. And then once you kind of sort of something 
look like this. <laughs> I'm just gonna take my hairspray. This is just the Tresemme um, number three. I am just going to start spraying it. I don't want it to be like too crunchy or anything. And then you literally take it out of the ponytail if I can get a hold of it. <laughs> And you fluff it around, get it how you want it to look. Hang on, I'm gonna have to go fix it because I can't see. <laughs> and now it just looks like this. I tilted you down just a little bit. Maybe you can actually see the little curls at the bottom now. This is what it looks like at the back. Just very tousled like. It's just very tousled looking. Um, it's got a lot of body to it. Now obviously if you want a more put together kind of look, you can do extravagant curls and pin them up and just look beautiful. But I'm kind of feeling this right now. And if you even want to make this more kind of like woohoo, you can go in with a red lip. That will look even more festive and ready to bring in the New Year's. Yeah, so if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope you have a great day, a happy New Year, and God bless.